Welcome to Gaming with Sean. It's kind of been a while, huh? Some might say it's been probably four months since I did the last Gaming with Sean. Well, this time we're doing Exchange 3, which is a romance dating sim with a gender bender twist, kind of like gender bender DNA Twister Extreme, which I did last time. But this time it's gonna be a little bit more H than the last because, I mean, this is a serious one. This is the third installment, and it's gonna be some steamy stuff. And honestly, I'm gonna play it all, all the way through. I don't know if it'll be okay to air this one on YouTube. Hopefully, I can. Um, if you if you Google some of the uh, images on here, you, you you'll see exactly why I'm saying this is a little bit more racy. But we're starting out, and this is going through backstory of the main character and his girlfriend who they were as children don't worry it's not one of those kind of games where it's about romance and the wee kids I'm going to change the audio settings a few times in this that way I don't have to listen to a bunch of high-pitched Japanese girls trying to act cutesy but I will turn it on again later once we get some new characters Since this is all just, you know, backstory and all that, I'm going to explain why it's been four months since I did the last one of these. For starters, my computer went down. Um, it kept overheating, getting blue screens of death. Turned out it was a combination of dust. Lots and lots of dust. The other part is I ha might have had some bad RAM. So we changed the RAM. Got a new case, has a temperature gauge, all the components are dusted off, it should be good. It was killing me not being able to access the internet through anything other than my tablet. It was horrible. Absolutely terrible. Let's see, what is going on? I'm kind of skipping through this kind of fast and I'd like to apologize, but like I said, I'm hopefully going to finish all of this in one session. Let's see, height, pro, technical player when I grow up. Ugh, this is not the way to start a dating sim game. Yeah. Change some settings real quick. This is, wow, so hot. So very, very hot right now. Not, not the girl. What? what? Oh no. Uh oh. Did we miss something? That when I was changing settings, did I, did I, did I mess something up and we get all bra? Uh, I don't know. So what is the meaning of this? <laughs> it is one of those games, but it is starting way early. With the change. Normally they have you going to a lab, there is chemicals that are spilled, there is an explosion. Now these games they are not linear like a lot of RPGs are. They actually branch out and you actually the whole point of them is to try to end up with certain characters or to you know I don't know, screw a whole bunch of dudes. Ah and girls. I, I don't know. The reason I play these games I play them, Exchange in particularly, I play them to see how long I can go without getting my character raped. Like, flat out raped. And you'll get pretty far, but eventually you're going to have to go to school. And on that way to school, you got to take mass transit. Now we all know what they say. Subways and buses and trains in Japan. Absolutely terrible. Oh, thank goodness, it was just a dream. That, that's so much better. Well, now it's time to go downstairs, eat breakfast, go to school. That is the mother. You do not see her that much. Don't worry, there is no options to romance the mother or the father. Which, I do want to point out, that is a strong thing. Now, he is not related to her by blood. He is, however, uh, not adopted. It's just a stepmom. 
This is a stepsister who, really cute, you ended up being able to get with in the other installments. I'm assuming you can do the same thing here. But, of course, you're still a dude, and she's a bit older, kind of hot. I think she has a boyfriend at this point. And I do want to let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually playing this game at the second. This feels more like director commentary because I took this video before my computer crashed months ago. Which was my fault. It crashed a little bit because of the dust. But, oh, got a new case. The main character is Takuya. And I'm actually digging the red shirt and, what is that, tan color shirt or jacket? Nah, it's a shirt. He's wearing three shirts. Asuka. I'm going to change this so you can hear her. Asuka. 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 It's Asuka. Pretty sure that's how they spell it in Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, now, sometimes within the first couple of minutes, you can romance her. Now, what happens a lot of times is you will absolutely piss her off. You will have to try to romance her. Let's see. Uh, that's the choice for the pick. And. You'll, you'll piss her off, and I guess that's a, a good excuse for what he does, who he does, whom, whom he does. Er, I'm not ESL. Um, oh, Oscar. She is really pretty, actually. And sometimes you um, get to see him with her uh, as a dude. That's always fun. Um, sometimes you get to see him with her as a girl, and other times you get to see him not with her. I don't think you ever walk in on her with somebody. I haven't gotten all the endings for all the games. Cause there are several endings, because it's a pick-your-own kind of story thing, like I explained earlier. Just like Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. It's probably the last one of these Let's Plays for these type of games that I'm going to do. Not because it's getting weird, just because I feel like I have to talk more because it's a story and mm, what are we getting out of this if I'm reading you a story? Can't really sell these games on gameplay most of the time. However, there is a bit more thought in it than some other games. She normally wants him to, like, grow up and all that, and traditional stuff. She's kind of just an accessory in these games. Ring, ring, ring. Banana phone. Banana phone. In some gender bender fiction, it should be noted that you wake up as a chick, and you're like, oh man, rip off the shirt, rip off the blanket, you know, all that stuff. And you're like, oh wow. So it's cool that this series kind of goes in a little bit slow. That being said, for the record, I was not, I did not forget that I was, had to go to the third year students, do an ex experiment I had to set up. I was just distracted by the whole lack of my character getting raped at this point. Not that it's normally that fast, but if she had, if he had woken up as a woman, that that is completely what would have happened. This character would have been like, "Oh hey, I got a flat tire. Now we gotta go take a train and get ourselves raped." It's pretty much a statistic. If you are a school a schoolgirl in Japan, or just a girl or a woman, sometimes a dude, you're gonna get raped if you take the bus, train, subway, airplane. Just, just, just walk everywhere. Like, or ride your bike. You should definitely invest in a bicycle if you were in Japan. That being said, when I was in Japan, I saw this one girl. 
who was literally riding her bike uphill, and I'm like, why isn't she walking? She could just push it up faster. Like, I did something really creepy, and I just started walking a little bit fa uh, faster just to prove my point. When I went to Japan on vacation, I was pretty creepy. There might have been a picture I took of schoolgirls, let's say. But, you know, who doesn't when they're in the country of Nippon do weird, creepy things that they should probably regret later that their friends saw them do? Right? Okay. So, hey, it's a green-haired chick because why not green hair? Then again, my character's hair. I think his hair is supposed to be black. But it's that black, kind of like Elvis's hair, where it's so black that it is actually blue. Now, here in a sec, we're gonna, we're gonna be introduced to Koji. I think that's his name. Oh no, we're, we're introduced to her first. Miss question mark, question mark, question mark. Let's listen to what she has to say. Green hair is Professor Rumi. Uh, Ayano? Yeah, Ayano. Text is kind of scrunched up for me to see. It's fine for y'all, or it should be fine. I see. They're gonna introduce a old character from the first two games who was responsible in curing you, and I'm assuming will be responsible for curing you again, because going into it, you already know what's gonna happen. The title screen already showed you. The box art already showed you. These games aren't very deep. They do not expect you to, uh, be shocked. Then again, it's the whole premise. Now, I mean... I like to think that these kind of, this genre has good storytelling, but, um, there's going to be, yeah. The only shock is how long it takes for, for the things to happen at this point. But then what happens next? You take a bus. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm a girl? She's supposed to be the Moe character who's super cute and, you know, I think you probably end up with her in one of the branches. What am I saying? You pretty much end up with everyone except your own mother, who isn't your own mother. Oh, there's Koji. Koji is a jerk. He always tries to trick you, and he'd be like, oh, hey, I overloaded this thing so it would blow up so boobs would happen. So he's going to do the exact same thing here. Ooh, Rumi. Rumi? Rumi. Rumi. Green hair, blue eyes. She's rather pretty. The, art the artwork in these are pretty top-notch. Because, well, that's what they're focusing... I mean, they're not trying to perfect an engine for gameplay. They're trying to perfect the um, storytelling and the artwork. And once you uh, complete the game, you will be able to see the artwork from it in the gallery mode, in the files and all that, and that's pretty nifty. A funny story, I was trying to find something when I was right after playing Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme, and while I was looking for stuff, I accidentally spoiled a whole bunch of other things, because I didn't know that, oh hey, it's just a file folder, you can just double click it, and bam, all these images. I think I was trying to find a song or something, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe, oh, the, a character art of the main character so I could use it for a title card. Because as you notice on all of my Gaming with Sean videos, there is in fact a title card. There may not always be an opening. I actually went back and got a new opening with new music with new scenes in it uh, for now. And if you like the old music, that'll be in the credits right now. Um, I'll even throw up a couple of random video game 
awesome things Stand by. so you can enjoy the credits. Hmm, was Rumi mad? Now, whatever they do to try to... See, I play these games, like I said, to defy what is expected of me. So, if they give me the chance to stay in bed, I'm my character's gonna stay in bed. Like, it... I was at the title, or... I was just past the title screen in Link to the Past in Link's uncle's room for about five minutes. Being like, what's gonna happen next? Is she gonna say, hey, Link? Hey. Hey, listen. Watch out. No, that... that that was unfortunately Ocarina of Time that decided to start doing that, but anyways, I will not be surprised by you, Koji. Koji, I pretty much know what you're going to be up to, and I'm saying no. Just say no, kids. Just, just, just don't do it. Music in these games are pretty decent. Actually, uh, it should be noted that in one of the exchanges, there was actually a mini game or two that you had to play. And I think if you answered poorly, your character got graped. Flat out graped, yeah. Nah, I think it was Businessman. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while. I actually don't play these games too often. Too busy playing Mario Brothers and other manly things like, uh, uh, Hello Kitty Island Adventure. No. Uh. Jez Ball? I uh -huh. Didn't have any, any good examples there. Uh. Alaska. I am kind of feeling better now. Hmm. I will compliment her on her maturity. That will make things mature, and then we will go bedroom. Yes. Yes. I wonder if they talk about being late in these games, because it is taking forever. We are almost, what, almost 20 minutes in, and still nothing. Koji, I already know that you're behind this. Ah! It is Science Girl! I love Science Girl because she loves science. Let us hear her proclaim science is best science. Asami. Hope that's her name. She looks really cute. Like, that is a really pretty outfit. And it's thoughts like that that are the exact reason why the main protagonist gets what he gets. She gets. Ah. So how have you been? She does research here now because college has better supplies. Medical equipment. Okay, I have enough of her. Graduated university already. That's what I just said earlier. What an unexpected meeting. A popular character that you got with in the last game is appearing now. That is amazing. I think I said, called Professor Rumi earlier the nurse. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I didn't, I didn't say her nurse. And I said, Professor, didn't want to be uh, 
condescending and assuming she's a nurse, but in the previous game you got with the nurse. So, yeah, that's probably why I think that. I'll ask her. Uh, hmm. It's weird. Since I'm doing this post, I am trying to remember my mindset, trying to predict myself, and I'm like, man, I do not know Passion very well opposed to present Sean, which I am, and future Sean, which will be like, man, you really rambled here. Just sat The fashion year is pretty good. That's probably the good thing about the fact that they aren't in high school. Not that this was ever set with minors, mind you. Everyone in these games are always 18, all of the time. Even if they look 10, we swear they are legal. Ooh, he wants to give me some tasty juice. Well, I'm sure nothing can go wrong if I drink the tasty juice from the guy who's always trying to mount him as a girl. Nothing can go wrong. What, what can go wrong, right? so adorable she, she just wants to give me this poison don't kill the messenger <laughs> right <laughs> would you like to drink some juice <laughs> no <gasps> uh, is that with a h u h why that damn it what should i do We'll have her drink it. This has to be the red herring, because these games are so well thought out. It's like, dude, that, that was good, what it was going to do it. No, you're going to trip into a machine. I I'm sorry, but I don't want to drink your poison. You drink your poison. You don't look like a Sicilian. No. I am wondering what that Sicilian from Princess Bride would look like. Never mind. I wonder if I can convince her. That'd be a twist. What a twist! That actually, it would be really interesting if they actually let you convince the other character to change. And that way, you get an entire story where you're more of a supporting character, and you're helping her, and... Maybe you fall in love with the dude, but you know that would be kind of gay. So no, that that would never happen. That they're not telling those stories. Senpai. Unless she drugs you as a dude. That way. Hmm. Damn you, Goji. なんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでなんでな
would then turn oh, a girl into a. Well, actually, shouldn't it just turn her into more of a girl? I mean, I don't want to mess with the logic here, but that's what my brain would be like. Shouldn't we see the Moe character turn into like a super sultry character or something? Well, hello there, Professor. Hmm. Perhaps she will examine the patient. I think I know where this is going. She's a funny looking cute boy. This professor's a pedophile. I know they're technically legal at this point. Because by the third game, he's in university. Pretty sure she's in there. What would that be? It's not Lolly. It'd be Shota. Yeah.、Hmm. I love that she was all surprised that her male student didn't get turned into a girl. Like to this point, I'm surprised Koji, as smart as he is, didn't just turn himself into a girl. You know? I'm gonna put that out there because if you did that, then you could still be with your Takia, and then you could poison him into becoming a girl. I mean, really simple. Very simple. You just. Omae ga nome ba ikken rakushoku datta n daro? Ja, shikata nai na. That's not my fault. Takada ga otoku ni nakata datta n dakara. Aihara. No! Omae mo. Sonna. That's like. It's like me accusing somebody of being a hero for drinking a girl's drug drink just because the girl didn't get drunk. No, accidents happen. Accidents happen. You just shut up. <sighs> oh, hey, they even used the word potion. Called it. <laughs> Your science is witchcraft. We're gonna treat it like witchcraft. So, she's gonna. She's, she's, nice. Kind of. It's not really. Lesbian relationship. It's.、Uh... What? Really? I like you better this way, of course. Japan has every adult in Japan seems a little creepy because of these games. Like you can't trust businessmen. You can't trust teachers. Oh, sin. <laughs> they're really, they're, they're really not gonna show you what happens because they're like, we're not gonna draw some little dude. That, that, no, that'd be creepy. Unlike taking the rape bus, which is fun. Hey, we at least you get to see Takia a little bit as a girl, even though we just played through the worst ending, the quote-unquote worst ending. <sighs> You know, you can't play a porn game and not get, you know, and get upset because it sickens you. I suppose. Here we're looking at the CG mode. I didn't really unlock anything because, you know, the game's about over. Or was that at the beginning? Well, that was Exchange Three. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Enjoyed these little pictures. I got like Doki Doki Panic. I got. Smash Brothers they made for Game Boy. Suppose it、well, wasn't made for Game Boy. You know what I mean. Someone made it as if it was. Hey, there's me in a Twilight Sparkle hoodie as an avatar. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this gaming with Sean, and I will hopefully play a better game later. Bye.